Okay then folks, so as you enter the room, I've got the big doorway, which I've ripped out. Used to look like one of those. Uh, so that's ripped out, we're having an oak door in there. It's all being plastered, old boiler has been ripped out, it's all getting plastered. It's gonna get bricked up and a bit of cement on outside. All the skirting's being ripped off, uh, oak windowsill on there, rid of the palmet. This is gonna be a built-in wardrobe, so this brick wall's coming out, <clears throat> uh, gonna support that bit with a bit of timber uh, running down. That brick wall is actually going to be coming out to about there when we do the frame because that frame is a lot bigger than the door and the frame we're having. So that'd be a little bit a little bit more to come out there and get plastered. Uh, that brick wall's all coming away. Uh, Built-in wardrobes are coming to about... There's a pencil line just there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, all the way up to the top. Double doors at the top, uh, all oak veneer, uh, MDF, and doors, and then down the bottom there's going to be a bit of a blank panel, which I'm going to put a secret uh, liftable lid on for the lad to put his little bits and bobs in. <clears throat> and then we're having a bed, which is going to come right across here, oak front. I'm going to bolt it to the wall with some pine, put some slats, so it's a kind of floating effect. She, I think she might want legs, but I'm not sure. Lots of work to do. Today we're going to be doing the door frame, so let's crack on. Little tip I got from my dad, so I'll relay it to you lot. Always try and take either the nails out or bend them over because he said that he's seen so many accidents and it's just not worth the risk. So I've once listened to him. Okay, what I've got here guys is just a standard pine uh, door lining from uh, Wix's. Just a standard door lining, it's not the rebated one, um, it's the one with the jam, I have to put them on myself. So yeah, let's get cracking. You've got two rebates cut into it. The one is for one side of door and the other is for the other side of the door to the side They go onto the side like that. Okay then guys, so I'm down uh, by the workshop now. Uh, I've set the frame up as it would do in the rebates. Um, and just gonna get a few measurements now. So the door is 78 inches long, or about 15, between 15 and 20 mil of carpet and underlay. So I don't actually need to take anything off this door because we've actually got from the bottom of the jam we've got uh, just a hair under 79 so that 20 mil plus that little bit of clearance um, should be able to swing the door open just fine <laughs>
Okay then guys, so what we've got here, bottom of the door jam we've just screwed up. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, put the big level on and hold it tight up against the top. I don't know if you can see, but there's a, there's a gap at the bottom, which obviously means because we've screwed it at the top, now we need to bring this bottom out so when the level's on it, it's all touching because if you can envision this as the edge of the door, what you don't want is to screw this up tight and then when you put the door, because the door's straight and this has been bowed in and pulled in from the screws and obviously it's not straight, you're gonna see, you're gonna see that gap. So I've got some shims, got some oak, oak shims here of all sizes and whatever. I'm going to keep putting these in until we bring it out and then we can just cut them off after with the multi-tool if we need to. Still a little bit more. Oh, I'll tell you what, some folded wedges would be handy here. As you can see with that now, that's a lot better. So I've got everything pretty much ready now. I had to cut this video short a little bit. The plaster is coming in tomorrow and I needed to get this done. I wanted to do a real deal that I wanted to do a real detailed video, you know, from opening the packet to the finished product, but I just it, it takes so long to get the videos done and set up and it doubles if not triples the time of the job so i'm really sorry guys i hope what i have done is uh, beneficial for anybody as you can see i've got the door frame in i literally just rinsed and repeated for this side with uh, put some minimal expanding foam in and that's helped with filling the gap and uh firming that frame up as well because it does does a bit of both so there that's all set up and Sweet as a nut, popped a bit of plasterboard up there. I'll show you there's a little cheek wall boarded plasterboard so that can be plastered. So yeah, it's pretty much ready to rock and roll. So uh hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments. And uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon, notify you whenever I put something new up. Uh, I've got a wardrobe build in here coming up. There's the skirting boards I'm going to show you putting all the architraves on. Might get a video with the plaster in. There's just loads to do in this room. So yeah, stick around folks. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Share it amongst your friends. And until the next time, I will love you and leave you. See you later.